hard puff at Fang's Brow to access the Coffin route which follows along Lowe's Water Lake on a higher traverse path but before we do that we're going to head off up onto Burnbanks then follow the ridge up to Blake Fell and then see how we get on. We might do Gavel Fell as well and then down Black Crag back onto the Coffin Road with great views of Lowe's Water Lake. So I think it's about six, seven mile walk. So let's pan you around. We've just gone through that gate there. It's about the third gate along that track. And the path on the left follows the coffin route. We're going to head right up this ATV track, steeply up burn banks. Water Lake, low fell on the right, white side and grass, more just peeking out. Oh, trust me, that is steep initially. Oh, great views. So you approach a bit of a quarry or quarry workings, should I say. Once you get to the quarry workings, you just head straight up the flanks of Burn Bank. banks you come to this cairn just keep heading up following the grassy trod great views coming down off burn banks you've got mail break there crumbic water grass moor white side hope you'll head grassdale pike skidder Darling Fell, Low Fell, Fell Burrow, Lowswater Lake, and the Solway Coast in Scotland. So that's Carling Knot and Blake Fell behind. We're going to be heading to Blake Fell in a bit. bonus of the mountains, the mountain view, you've got a lake view, you've also got a coast view right over to Scotland and you've also got a little bit of history of the coffin route. Let's pan you around. There's Scotland in the distance. 
in the mountains. Billy! So, the summit of Fernbanks. There's the coast. I must admit, this is one of my least favourite summits. It's literally in the corner of a fence. It doesn't even look like it's a hill from the top. You've got Cogla Moss down there, a nice little fishing lake. Mokokin. And you've got High Pen, the ridge, going up to Blake Fell. And we're going to follow this fence line all the way up the ridge to Blake Fell, this side. to Blake Fell. Too bad. Yep, it's okay to go over the poles. Just a little section that's like that. Blake Fell Summit. There's the shelter. Wow. Windy up here. That's looking over to Bossamy. Oh. Enadale waters over there. Enadale Lake. Oh, we've got the Irish Sea. I just want to show you Cogra Moss. You can access Blakefell via Cogra Moss and you head along past the lake and you'd head up there onto Low Pen and High Pen along the ridge up to Blakefell. It's going to be a right hurly here, it's freezing! and high pen in the foreground you head up there you've got gavel fell which you can go over to we're going to be going over there in a bit you've got high crag high style behind you've got fleet with pike on us the crag grass moor oh god it's freezing Lake Fell Summit, and you're looking over to Lowe's Water down there, Carling Knot or Carling Fell, where it's called Fernbanks, Alson Fell, and the Irish Sea in the Solway in Scotland. Oh. 
Yeah, so you can head down Blake Fell onto sharp knots that hump in the foreground down to those forest, forest of trees to Cogwell Moss. So you do a nice big loop. from the wind for a bit. So Andy did these fells a couple of weeks ago with our friend the Major and his beautiful 10 month old collie pup Maggie. So if you've not seen Andy's video on these fells you can check it out on Andrew Foster Rockstar. Of course Rockstar is Billy Bob. <laughs> And it was an awful wet day and wild on Blake Fell then. So pretty, Bobby. Are you beautiful? Are you beautiful? You are. Mwah. <laughs> Gorgeous, Billy. <Mwah. laughs> You're so beautiful, that little face. <laughs> so that's down to the junction to Gabble Fell. Oh, that is High Pen and Low Pen and Cogra Moss. You've got Mokakin up there and the coast. I'm not hanging about, I'm so cold. Oh, to be honest, the forecast was no wind or hardly any wind today, so I'm not really dressed appropriately. And I am frozen, so I'm not going to bother doing Gavel Fell. I'm going to head over to um, the other little kind of side summit to Gavel Fell. So I can head down Black Crag and get great views down to Lowe's Water and onto the Coffin Route. So please stay with me because it is a beautiful traverse path, beautiful views of Lowe's Water Lake. And it should be sheltered from this awful cold biting, oops, wind. Oh, I'm so cold. Oh my god, it feels like minus 50. <laughs> I'm sure it's not. Yeah, so you would head along the path over to Gavel, up to Gavel Fell. That's Gavel Fell top there. But I'm not doing that because I'm freezing my tits off. So I'm going to get to this junction. Actually, there's a fence there, so I think I'm actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to head back through that gate and be, go on the other side of this fence. Don't, I oh know, there was a stile. I remember there's a stile at the bottom there that I can't get over. And I'm going to head along the buggy ground over to that top there. Gavel fell, north top, south top, west top, east top, can't remember. I think it's west top. 
um, along Black Crag, steeply down to Lowe's Water with great views. So stay with me because it's really worth it. I've changed my mind. I've come back to the gate to head to the left hand side of this fence because I'm not doing gravel fell, I'm going to the other top. So I need to be this side of the fence. So I'm really pleased to see that this path has gone back to green again because a couple of years ago it was all black because so there was a fire, a big fire which went over Bannerfell, over this side of Gavelfell. Um, not really sure what started it. There were rumours, but I don't know if they were true. Um, whether it was a barbecue, whether it was a farm I set night to Heather, I'm not sure. But for a couple of years this was all black and smelt of smoke and burning. And it's all greened up again, so it's nice. So we've got bilberries. Lovely. These are really tasty. And there's masses of bilberries on this path. Now the path is very, very indistinct and it's very easy to lose the path. But all you basically need to do is head for a lone pine tree, which actually looks dead now. Uh, it was a pine tree, but it's the only tree around in this whole barren wilderness. So that's what you head for. And then if you aim for that, you will find the path. But at the start, it's definitely very sketchy. This is the dead pine tree. I think the fire must have killed that off. But it's still standing, and that's what you aim for. So it's a good landmark. Only tree about. And you're heading on the faint path up to Gavel, whatever it is, summit. Okay, so it probably is easier for you to head to Gavel Fell, which is that there. And then there is actually a distinct path coming down towards Gavel Fell High Nook. I've come across there. Where you've got that little lone pine tree, dead pine tree, very wet and boggy. Summit of Gavelfell High Nook, not to be mistaken for Gavelfell the Wainwright Summit. That's behind us. But you can see the views opening out. We're going to head over there to Black Crag, head down steeply with opening views. So I'll come back in a bit. You've got Great Vaughan. Starling Dodd, Hen Coon, and behind that you've got Red Pike, High Crag, High Style, Buttermere, Melbury, Grass, Small White Side.
Just nice just to sit here and have your lunch, looking down at this view. You can clearly see the coffin route now. So we're going to head down along there. We're going to head down along there and we're going to follow that path. You can see a clearly defined path, that's the coffin route going up, traversing. With great views of Lotus Water Lake. So we've come down from Black Crag and you reach a junction and that's the path that's the path that you could actually come down from Gavel Fell. You could come straight down the side of Gavel Fell onto there. And this path takes you either back to Maggie's Bridge or up to the coffin path which is what we're going to do it's the higher path that traverses carling knot and burn banks with great views of lowes water in a bit that's blake fell up there and that's the bridge we've come down isn't that fantastic trees are. I'm going to follow it along. That's Black Crag, the route we came down. Water had a church and a graveyard. The dead from the Lowswater village, the coffins used to be carried along this path all the way to St. Bees, to the abbey there for burial. And there's a number of coffin routes in the Lake District. We've got one at Horsewater from Mardell over to Shap.
get views of Lowswater Lake from the path. along the view of Lowswater Lake, Grassmoor, Whiteside, Low Fell, Darling Fell and Fell Bowow. And it just traverses all the way along the flank of the Burn Bank. Fantastic route. I've got 39 seconds left on my SD card, so I'm going to have to be very quick and say goodbye. Hope you enjoyed this video. We did Burnbank, Blake Fell, went over onto the Gavel Fell High Nook, down Black Crag, along the Coffin Route, about seven miles. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And scissor time and this is the walk heading up Burnbanks and Blake Fell down Black Crag and onto the Coffin Route around Lowe's Water Lake. So parked up on the side of a road at Fangs Brow. There's room for about 15 cars along the edge here along the verge and you take the public footpath through a gate on a good farm track all the way along and you go through about three gates and you get to this point here where the coffin route heads along the traversing the side of the fell. We come back on that way, but on the way up, we're heading up Burnbank Fell up here. So you go past this track here and you head up on an ATV track quite steeply at first, heading to this quarry workings and then you'll get to a pile of stones and from there you'll head straight up Burnbank Fell. And the summit is actually in the corner of this fence. And it's 475 metres. So you get views of the coast over this way, the Irish Sea. You've got great views of Lowswater Lake. And you want to head up on a boggy, grassy trod heading along the right hand side of the fence and you're going up the ridge line all the way up to Blake Fell 573 metres and there's a shelter on here which is needed because it's always windy on Blake Fell you've got great views over down to Cogra Moss fishing lake and you've got views over the coast you've got great views over to Lowswater and Buttermere and the route we're going to take is heading off in a sort of southeasterly direction, heading towards Gavel Fell. And you get to, you've got a fence all the way down here. And I actually accessed a gate round about here, I think it was, because it was so cold and windy. It really, really was bitterly cold. So I decided not to do Gavel Fell. If you were going to do Gavel Fell, you would just stay this side of the fence and you would just go along like this onto Gavel Fell, another way in right. But it was so cold. So I went through the gate onto this side of the fence so I could access here. This is Gavel Fell High Nook. As I was going to go down Black Crag on this route to the Coffin Route. So this is very boggy ground here and pathless. You just aim for a lone pine tree, which is now dead. I think they had a fire a couple of years ago around all this land here. It was all burnt. And the tree still remains, but it's just got no leaves on it. So you head for the lone tree along this boggy ground, and then you go up onto the cairn, 488 metres. 
and you start to get views opening out of Lowe's Water and the Fells. So you head along through Heather, it's a lovely little path through Heather. And you start heading down steeply, down Black Crag. Here you've got great views down onto this little tarn. This is all quite dramatic on Carling Knot. This is very dramatic here. It's quite a steep ground here. So it actually just feel quite airy and you've got great views over Lowe's Water Lake of Melbreak here, Grassmoor. Um, pick some bilberries here. There's masses and masses of bilberries and they're actually in fruit. So picked quite a few of them. Then you come down onto this path, which actually would take you up to Gavelfell if you so wished. But we were heading down this way. This would take you down to Maggie's Bridge. But we were heading on the Coffin Route, so we went back up along, back up on the good track, heading round the traverse side of Carling Knot. Great views of loads of water along here, and this is the old Coffin Route. This was used to transfer the dead from Lowswater Village to St Bees, to the Abbey at St Bees, before there was a church or a graveyard in Lowswater itself. And there's a number of coffin routes like this around Cumbria. Really, it's a beautiful path. You really want to do this because you get great views on Lowswater. You can actually do this without including any fells at all. You can park at the lake here and you can head up a long round of farm and do a bit of a circular route like this around here, come back down, go towards the lake shore through the wood here, and then back to the car park. That's a really nice route. But I stayed up high on the coffin route. You've got Holmwood here, so you traverse around the side of that. You come to a lovely little kind of um, beck here, Holm Beck, a nice little sort of valley, nice and secluded from the wind. Nice to sit here, have a cup of coffee or a drink. Billy had a paddle. Back up along the path. And you head back to the gate where you started the walk here. Back along the farm track to Fang's Brow. This was about a seven, just over a seven mile walk. If you included Gavel Fell as well, probably be about seven and a half miles. So yeah, it's a really good route. Hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching.